All right, let's take a couple minutes and do these subtract the following times, these time subtraction practice problems. Now we have the first one, 16 hours, 54 minutes. I like to lay these out this way. 16 hours and 54 minutes minus 12 hours and 45 minutes. So we have 54 minutes minus 45 minutes. We need to borrow from this 5, which brings us 14 minus 5 is 9. 4 minus 4 is 0. We have 9 minutes. 16 minus 12 is 4, right? 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 hours and 9 minutes. That one worked out nicely. Now here we have 1 hour, 30 minutes, minus... 45 minutes. Now we can't take 45 away from 30. We need to get some more minutes. And it turns out we have an extra hour over here. So we, we take that, make that into zero hours, but add 60. So if we add 60 minutes to 30, it comes out to 90 minutes. Now we have uh, enough minutes to take 45. I'm just looking at it, we can do some mental math. You know, 45 is half 90, it equals 45 minutes. But let's do the math. So 0 minus 5. Can't do that. So we need to borrow. Turns this into an 8. And this 0 into a 10. Minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 4 is 4. 45 minutes. And you can check at the bottom. It's the right answer. Third one says 23 hours, 54 minutes, minus 11 hours, 36 minutes. So, we can take 36 from 54, good. This, we're gonna have, but we can't take six from four, so we have to borrow from this five, which makes it a four, which makes it a 14, minus six is eight. And now four minus three is one, that's 18 minutes. And three minus one is two, two minus one is one. 12 hours and 18 minutes. And again, these answers are on the bottom. Now let's look at 1400, right? 14 hours, zero minutes, minus 36 minutes. And so we can't take 36 from zero. We need to, again, borrow from this 14 hours because we have 14 hours over here. So we can turn this four into a three. So now I have 13 hours and 60 minutes. See what we did was we, when we borrow that hour, that hour is equal to 60 minutes, and we're adding it to minutes, so we can convert that to minutes. So when we take one hour, we actually get 60 minutes, and we're at zero here. So now we have 60. Now we need to borrow again, right, because we can't take six from zero. So that turns to a five, and this turns to a ten. So ten minus six is four. Five minus three is two. 24 minutes and then this see we borrowed that one so this is a 13 13 24 and now this is the challenge question one hour 38 minutes minus one hour and 46 minutes what's happening is this is a good one to use your mental math on because it's 1.38 a.m. and they're asking you to take an hour and 46 minutes, which puts you back into the previous day. So I like to look at this through a mental math thing first. We say, okay, we know we're going into the previous day because we're taking away more time than we had. And so we say 38 to get from 38 to 40 is two minutes plus that six that's eight minutes we're eight minutes into the previous day so our mental math tells us we're at 23:52. keep that in mind and you see what I did there you're gonna this is pretty much the trickiest subtraction problem you're gonna get and don't just take a step back if it frustrates you in a deep breath and say Hmm, what's really going on here? What's happening is we're taking 
one hour and 46 minutes away from one hour and 38 min minutes, which puts us back into the previous day. So we say, what's the difference? 38, if we try to get from 38 to 46, we say 38 plus two minutes will get us to 40, plus six more minutes will get us to eight. There's eight minutes of difference between these, and it's into the previous day. So there's 24 hours in a day, it ends up 23 hours, 52 minutes. But let's look at the math that happens here. So we need to borrow, right? Because you can't take 46 from 38. So this becomes 0, 0, which is the same as 24. They're the same, right? Because there's 24 hours in a day. And then that means you get 60 minutes over here, which makes this 98 minutes instead of 38. And now we can go 8 minus 6 is 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. 24 minus 1 is 23. Good, and those are the practice, the subtracting time practice problems.